Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all doing wonderfully well by God's grace. I am ever so grateful to you all for your support, your constant support. I really, really do appreciate you. So, as you can see, something is actually happening here right now. Yeah? We have a fat, big pot of shit up. Yeah? So today I'm going to be sharing with you how I used to make my shit up to school. So I started making shit up about 13 years old because I went to boarding house when I was in primary school. So um, my mom was like, I don't know how to make shit up. You have to find <laughs> your own way. So yeah. So let's get into it and you see how I make it. Okay. So this is my garlic. So for my ingredients. Okay. So I have my garlic. I have my onions. So onions, I have shallot. I have normal red onions and I have um, a few white onions. Okay. So I prefer the shallot because they are nice and mild. Okay. Yeah. And I have some ginger as you can see here. So the ginger, what I normally do, I don't peel it. So when I get a ginger, you see all those rough bits, bumps here and there. I just cut all those off as you you see me do. I'm just cutting off the rough edges, the bits that are a bit darker, the, you know, the parts that are dried up. I just cut all those bits off and then I just chop them into pieces and I blend it. Back home, I, I didn't have a very good blender. So when I blend it, you see that particles of the skin the skin will be floating on the oil and that is the bit that i like but fortunately for me or unfortunately for me i have a very smooth blender and now it goes very smooth so you don't see those particles okay all right so i showed you um some shrimps over there that just passed okay so that's shrimps i'll be blending it um you know shit oil we add some shrimp powder and some fish powder but i like to um, add some fresh one as well so that I have the taste of sh a lot of shrimp in it okay so I blend all that together so this is this this is my onions my garlic and my ginger blended together as well as um, I've blended the shrimps I was speaking of right now and I'm going to add it so what I'm going to be doing is I'll just put this on fire and just cook it okay so I'm going to cook it right down until all the water has evaporated okay so very dry so that just like that so that when it goes into the oil um it reduces platter and also it cooks quicker okay so here is my tomato puree which i'm mixing it in when i'm going to mix it in and set it aside okay when i was one one day when i was making my shit all i just chucked my tomato puree into my sauce on all my days the experience my hmm the tomato puree decided to burn at the bottom of their saucepan and all my shit got burnt. It was so bitter. Nobody ate it until the end of the time when all the food had finished. Okay, that was when everybody ate my shit It was a sad time. Anyway, so here is my meat. I know I always added meat to my shit because you don't get meat in a boarding house. So when I leave chunks of meat in my shit then anytime I scoop some shit I know that I'm definitely going to find some meat to eat okay so here i'm cutting my beef okay so i cut it across the grain or along the grain <laughs> one of them okay so i've cooked it i could do it with some of my um spice cubes and yeah so the reason i cut it along the grain so that it's easier to remove the fiber okay so here you have to guys i'm using my hands just my fingers to remove the fiber right but what you can do to make it easier and quicker yeah is to use a fork as you see me do so i'm going to be scraping all that out and once i get everything you know removed and it's all nice and flaky i'm going to be frying that and i'll be adding it to my shit up okay so that is the bit about the meat okay and sometimes i cut them into very little cubes sometimes so i do it this way so either way there's still meat okay and here i also this is one bit that i didn't used to add okay this ingredient never was in my shit at school it's a new addition because now i have access to shrimps back then i didn't have access to like raw shrimps like this so i wouldn't add it okay so then here 
as my fresh pepper. Okay, so this one is purely for the aroma. Okay, to make your shito smell extra nice. Okay, so you can use pepper shito, right? So that's what I used to use, but here I have no pepper shito, so I go for scotch bonnet and also add to the heat because you know this one is very hot and shito must be surely hot. Okay, so here is my powdered pepper, my puree which i've already used okay so here is my shrimp powder and this is from ghana straight away okay and my fish powder here then i'm going to be showing you a few bay leaves here and some stock this, no this is spice cubes so i have the ghana spice cubes and the regular one okay um i have the recipe in mind I will link it down below for you to see. And this is my secret ingredient. This ingredient, it makes the shit out, it takes it to another level. So it's calabash, um, African calabash, or Widiaba, we call it bakum in Ghana, okay? So you just crush it and it has to be roughly crushed. It's not smoothly crushed, as you can see, right? And it gives you this taste, okay? So yeah, we are ready to fry our shito, okay? So I'm going to be using old oil. This oil is oil that I've used to fry my fish. You know, when I'm making like plantain and fish or maybe yams and fish and stuff like that. While making fish gravy or something, I fry my fish. The oil, I don't throw the oil away. So what I do is I keep it. So that's what I'm using. I'm here, I'm frying the shrimps that I cut into pieces, okay? So I just fry it for a bit for it to dry out a little bit and i take it off then here i'm frying my meat okay it's not going to be very dark okay i'm just frying it for it to brown because i'll just add it to my the sauce okay and i'm going to be frying it and as it fries they'll all darken together they'll all fry equally and they'll become just like shit off so don't worry that here it's a bit brown and our shito needs to be black okay so yeah I, i've just finished frying it and as you can see it's a bit brown scooped everything out of it and here when it goes in my pepper okay my scotch bonnet so i put in that first so that you know the oil will just take the aroma you know from the pepper and my days it smells nice but at this point you'll be coughing a bit because as you know oil and pepper they cause smoke <laughs> yeah so yeah my um days go in and my stock my i call it stock cubes these are my spice cubes okay this is i'll link it in the description for you to to see it's got all the spices that you need for your shit or everything is in there plus some more onions and garlic and ginger and everything it's amazing okay so it is fried down now and i'm adding in remember that mixture that concoction we made at the beginning that is it our ginger garlic onions and um the shrimps that i cooked down with the tomato puree there it goes in and you see that shito is prone to splatter i tell you shito i packed back in the day i used to be running away from the fire ah too much too much too much splatter but when you do it this way you reduce the splatter considerably okay and as you also know shito takes a lot of oil and with a lot of oil on top of your shito it preserves your shito and your shito can keep longer back at school you didn't have fridge or anything so the more your oil the longer your shito will keep for you so shito and oil goes together so don't worry about adding more shito sorry adding more oil pardon me okay so from now on it's just frying and adding the rest of the ingredients okay so um we add the wet ingredients first so that all the moisture will be evaporated it would be you know dried if you take out all the moisture then we add our dry ingredients so as you've seen my beef and my shrimps have gone in and i'm going to be cooking it at this point i added some salt because you know salt to taste you can't cook shit out without salt right it has to taste salty not salty in that sense but to taste okay so here goes in my shrimp powder and um my fish powder so it goes in at this time and as you see that shit will look like red or brown right 
we are going to be frying this until it turns black very dark color okay so as i put it in now it's going to be frying frying on medium heat and sometimes i even reduce it to low heat depending my heat is always fluctuating going medium low medium low right depending on how it's cooking and if i'm standing there you know i'm available to be staring okay sometimes i get tired of standing so i just put it on low and go and sit somewhere and then be coming you know to stare intermittently okay so here goes in my chili powder or my um powdered pepper so that was my inquisitive son Salom asking questions about my shit up. Okay, so yeah, so here on, we just keep stirring and, and making sure that it doesn't catch at the bottom and it doesn't burn. Because as I mentioned earlier on, I've had burnt shit up before and it was a disaster, okay? My mom wouldn't give me an, like another money to start all over again. It's like you're taking it like that and it was, wasn't good, okay? So as you can see, our shit up has started, you know, darkening. It's very dark. It's looking dark now. And at this point, it is, I think it's just ready. Okay, ready to be um, packed or ready to be bottled if you're using a bottle. But I'm going to be using some disposable packs, okay? So um, I'll also be showing you how I add extra oil. If, um, you know, by the time the shito is ready, if you don't have enough oil, I'll show you how you can safely add oil without having that raw oil taste because when you just pour oil on top of it it makes it taste funny because oil has its own unique funny taste okay so when you fry it with other ingredients it changes and makes it you know much more palatable yeah <laughs> so here i'm scooping my shito into disposable um bowls like that what i do is i stack it in my freezer and i freeze it and anytime I need it i just take one when one runs out i go for the other so as you can see my shit oil is a bit dry it hasn't got a lot of oil on it and as i told you earlier the oil keeps it for longer okay so i've let i've left a little bit of um the shit oil in the in the wok and here i have my oil more um sunflower oil and i'm adding some onions these onions i'm just frying it so that it flavors the oil um the oil yeah, so it's, I'm not going to be, so I'm going to fry it until it turns very dark, like it's burns. Okay, I'm adding in some garlic and there is bay leaves as well um, to flavor the oil nicely. Then once the onions have burnt or has, they have, you know, darkened to my liking, then I'll scoop that off just as you see, put them aside, throw them away to be specific. Yeah, and then add the oil to the little shit I left in the wok. Okay, so that's the one. That's what it's going to, as you can see. I'm going to add it to it. And you see it bubbling. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I just stir it for a bit. And you see that some oil will be settling on top. Okay. Now we do have oil. Lots and lots of oil on top of that shit off. so you see that so i'm going to be scooping it onto all the other shit off okay so that everybody will get some oil so by the time it's morning or it cools down completely there will be some oil settled down i don't need that much oil because i'm going to store that in the freezer okay so i'm just doing it to show you if you need to store it on your counter in your pantry or you don't have to put it in a fridge or anything okay i still even in a fridge you still need oil to keep it for longer so why not okay so there it is i've just covered it up and yeah our shito is done done so now that our shito is made we can proceed to make our wache so hopefully next time i'll bring you the wache recipe okay so we combine all these together 
the steel we made the other time, our shator, and then the wire chain. So I'll see you next time. Thank you all for stopping by. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And please like and comment. So um, bye and I'll see you next week. Or next time when I post anything else. Thank you all. Bye.